What's up guys, Justin Greenwald here. Welcome to 65 Drums. Today I'm gonna to talk about how cheap you can go when buying headphones for your electronic drums. Like, can you get away with $20 headphones? Or do you need to spend 100 bucks on headphones? I believe $50 is the minimum you should be spending on e-drum headphones. You know what, you've got a drum set. It's, it costs you like $500, $1,000, um, and the only bottleneck are your headphones. Like, I don't care if you're playing a Roland TD-50. If you're wearing these headphones, that TD-50 isn't gonna sound very good just because of the quality of the headphones that you're using. The headphones are what truly make your electronic drum set. Uh, these, these are like $30 headphones that my brother bought from a grocery store, and they don't sound very good. And would I wanna use these with my drum set that I saved up so long to buy? No, no I won't because you want to have headphones that unleash the power of the drum set that you bought. I'm going to talk about different price points and what I recommend at each price point. But first, I want to explain um, the two different kinds of headphones you'll run across. So first off, you'll run across these headphones. Um, these are the ones that just sit on top of your ear like that. They don't enclose your ear. They just sit right on top of your ears. And uh, the problem with these is that they just don't block out much sound. When I'm playing an electronic drum set, I want headphones to block out some of the sound of me hitting the mesh pads, hitting those rubber cymbals, because it doesn't sound that great. And so, I really enjoy using headphones like these Sennheisers, where they completely go around your ear, like that. They completely encapsulate your ear, and they block out a lot of the sound. Even though I can hear everything when no music is playing, when the music starts playing, it blocks out a lot of the sound of me hitting the pads. And comfort is a really, really big factor as well. Remember, you're gonna be wearing these headphones for long periods at a time, especially if you're gonna wear them outside of just um, drumming with them. So you're gonna be listening to music with these. You wanna be able to wear these for an hour or two at a time. I've just found that circle ear cups aren't quite as comfortable over a long period of time. I have some Bluetooth uh, Sony headphones that have really, really thick foam ear cups, but they're just not very comfortable over long periods of time. So let's talk about the first price range for buying headphones for your electronic drum set. One pair of headphones to look at when you have $50 to spend is the Audio-Technica ATH M20Xs. They have a nice full range of sound. I played them a couple of times at my uncle's church. Uh, actually, it's an acoustic drum set, but I was wearing those headphones so I could hear everyone else in the band which is really, really nice. I also had my own little mixer to my left where I, could, where I could decide how much of the bass and how much of the keys that I could hear. And it had a nice full range of sound. I could hear the lows, I could hear the highs. The only problem with these headphones, which, which you can find for $40 if you look around the internet long enough, the only problem with them is that they lacked clarity. Like the bass was there and in your face if you wanted it to be, but it sounded a little bit muddy. So you're not gonna get the full clarity and focus of sound unless you spend a little bit more money. But at 50 bucks, I think it's a solid thing to buy so if you've got something like a, an Alesis Nitro you just bought or a Roland TD-1K, you don't have a big budget for e-drum headphones, solid thing to buy. Now let's go on to $100. So again, I'm gonna bring out these Sennheisers. These are the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. These are incredible headphones. I've worn these since like 2013 or so. Still one of my favorite headphones I've ever worn. And these were only 99 bucks. I did a lot of research when I, when I bought my Roland TD-30K of what headphones I should buy because I wanted to buy the right pair of headphones the first time, the ones that would sound the best for your money at 100 bucks. And apparently $100 is the sweet spot where you get a really nice sound quality for the amount of money that you're spending. And after reading reviews and consulting people, I came across these Sennheiser headphones, and I'm really, really happy that I bought these. They sound great. The bass is there, but it's not in your face. These headphones sound so crystal clear, and you just notice details you never noticed before in music. Like, as a little side story, I used to work midnights occasionally at my hotel. Since I'd be working till like 6 or 7 a.m., I always took a nap the night before at around 8.30, so I could sleep a little bit so I could stay awake through the night. And what I would do is I'd go sit on the couch or lay down on the couch right over there behind the camera, and I would just pop these on my head and start listening to music. And I noticed details like backing tracks 
in music that I listened to a million times that I never knew existed. And that's because of the amount of detail that comes through these headphones. When the music starts playing, it blocks out a lot of the sound of me hitting the drums. And I don't even notice them hardly ever. And that really helps with the immersion when playing an electronic drum set. I believe that's half the battle. I don't care how nice the headphones are. If I can hear myself hitting those rubber and mesh pads, um, it just breaks a little bit of the illusion for me, a little bit of the immersion. And as a side note, I do recommend getting the coiled version of whatever headphone you're about to buy because sometimes they give you a choice between coiled and uncoiled. Um, when it's coiled like this, you're getting more uh, feet of cable in a shorter amount of space. This is great if you wanna throw this in your backpack and take it somewhere with you. Now, if I had to find a weakness with these Sennheiser headphones, even though I'm raving about them, uh, the big weakness is that they just don't look that cool. Like, I don't think I would want to wear these at a coffee shop, you know what I mean? Like, I'd wear some Beats headphones because they look nice, but I don't think I'd wear these. They're, they're great in a studio. On stage, they don't look the greatest on stage either. I've seen myself wearing these um, in video recordings and they just look, they, they just look a little meh. In ears look a lot nicer. This is like some of the best hundred dollars I've spent in my life. There's not a lot of things in life where you can spend a hundred bucks and say to yourself, wow, I can't believe how good of a product I got for spending a hundred bucks. But I believe this is one of them. And no, this is not an infomercial. I just really like these headphones. So if a hundred dollars is like the sweet spot for getting best bang for your buck and best audio quality, where do you go from there? Like where's the next big leap in audio quality? Well, according to the research I've done, because I don't have a whole lot of experience with like audiophile grade headphones, the next big leap in like audio quality isn't gonna come till around $400. Like around $400 is where you're gonna see a big leap from $100 quality to the next level. Like if you buy a $200 pair of headphones, um, they're not gonna be twice as good as this. Because the more money you spend on any product, the harder it is to get to the next level. You, uh, Sennheiser makes a pair of 650 Pros, and then you've got the, the Shure SRH1840. Shure is so good at naming their products, aren't they? So those are two great um, companies, Shure and Sennheiser. They're both well known for their high quality headphones. Buy headphones from either one of those guys, you're gonna get a nice product. And so, yeah, 400 bucks, those are some nice uh, headphones to look at. And by the way, um, when you look at those headphones in the $400 price range, a lot of times those are gonna be open-backed headphones. For those of you that don't know what that means, there's gonna be a little grill right here on the back plate of your headphones. So other people will, will be able to hear what you are listening to with your headphones. If that bothers you, don't buy open-backed headphones, but a lot of those more expensive audiophile headphones will be open-backed. I guess it has something to do with the way sound travels or something like that. I don't know. If you want to learn more about the world of headphones and all the different headphones at every single price range and audiophile type stuff, I've linked a couple of channels in the description below. Um, one is called Inner Fidelity, really great channel that goes in-depth on all kinds of headphones. I'm not doing any sort of affiliate deal with that channel. I just wanna let you know um, they're really, really good when it comes to headphones. Thank you so much for watching. I make a new video about electronic drums two to three times a week right now. My schedule, as of right now, is Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you wanna keep on top of those new videos, be sure to press that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. My drum covers are on Instagram. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a few. I absolutely love Bose products. In fact, I have a Bose like speaker system in front of my TV in my living room. It sounds amazing. That subwoofer is great. It has a way of balancing sound around the walls to make it seem like there's more speakers than there actually are. I love the technology that Bose uses, but they have this sort of sound characteristic that is like unique to all of their products. So I don't think Bose headphones are suited as much to electronic drums. And also they're kind of expensive. They have like this 
price tag, the same kind of price tag you would get if you buy Beats headphones. Um, these AKG headphones are the circle kind. Even though these are at a decent price, these are like 70 or $80 right now, they have really nice sound quality. They're just about as on par with those Sennheisers. But the problems for using this with electronic drums is that it doesn't seal out some of those sounds. And also these take a lot of power to drive 